Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodoshan here. So we are gonna go ahead and make a mole mascot that is stuffed for chemistry class. You have your template. I need you to go ahead and cut out your template. Um, you can make this mole as detailed as you want. So you can cut out that nose and the little paws if you feel like it. I'm just making a very simple mole today. So we're just gonna do the belly and the body. Once you have your templates cut out, go ahead and get your fabric. You can use whatever fabric you have. Um, you can even use felt. So go ahead and get it and you're gonna cut out your pieces of fabric. You're gonna need to cut one of the um, bellies and two of the bodies. Now when you do your body cutouts, one time you need to do it with the pretty side of the fabric up and the second time you're gonna need to do it with the pretty side of the fabric down as you see here. Just so you can make sure you get the pretty side outward on the mole uh, when you actually compose it and put it together. Now, if you're just using felt, that doesn't matter because it's gonna be the same color on both sides, okay? So now that we have our pieces, notice the noses will line up and that will orient you on how to put your mole together. I am just using hot glue today, but you can sew this if you want to. Notice I'm folding over and I'm putting the hot glue on the decorated part of my fabric. That's just to make a clean edge or a clean line instead of just putting it um, right on the seam. So um, you can see I'm gonna fold it over the whole time so that when I put the pretty side back on the outside, then it makes a very nice clean seam. It almost looks like I sewed it, but I didn't. This is quick and easy. I did this entire mole in 10 minutes from start to finish. So you're gonna go along the edge and you are going to hot glue um, this entire side. Now, when I say the entire side, I mean from the nose to the feet, like you're seeing here, um, to the tail. So make sure that you stop there. Do not go ahead and hot glue the other side. Now flip it over the way that it's going to be presented. So pretty side out and make sure you get that little foot poking out. Um, go ahead and do that now. Get your last piece and we're going to go ahead and hot glue that last piece. I'm going to show you first how it's going to actually fit on. So orient yourself with the nose and the feet and you can see it's going to fit right here when it's done. Um, but in order to get it there, we're going to flip it over so that we can have that um, really nice looking seam when we um, invert it and flip it inside out so we can stuff it. So I just went ahead and I flipped it. Now we're gonna hot glue this down. And we're actually doing this for our mole day celebration. So um, you probably are doing a mole day celebration too if you're making a stuffed mole. It's just so much fun. Um, if your teacher doesn't do a mole day celebration, do one, tell your teacher about it. You can look it up and it's just so much fun. We have mole day food as well. In fact, I'll post my video on my mole day celebration um, in the description below. So you guys can watch that if you need ideas for mole day food or just what mole day is in, in general. Okay, so we went ahead and we flipped it to the pretty side outward. Now we're gonna go ahead and start connecting our seam to finish up our mole. I'm, I'm trying to get my little foot out right now. That's probably the hardest part of the whole thing. Once you get the seam about halfway done on your last little spot, you wanna leave that hole open and go ahead and stuff your mole. I'm gonna stuff my mole with some cotton balls. You can use whatever soft material you have. You can even stuff it with a sock or some shirt that you have left over that doesn't fit you anymore. Whatever will work. Once you have it completely stuffed and you can see, I'm gonna to try to get the cotton balls like all the way up into the nose and into the little paws as well, just to give it some structure. Um, and I'm adding more cotton balls than you think you need, just because it makes it super fluffy and um, you know, it makes it look like a cute little stuffed animal when you're done. So once you have it all stuffed, go ahead and seal up those seams with some more hot glue and then your mole is done. Now from here, you can get as creative as you want with it. You can theme your mole, you can decorate it any way you want to. I've had students in the past um, make their favorite sports team mole or a princess mole. Um, I've had students make moles from superheroes 
or their favorite movie characters. So really just kind of um, take this mold and run with it. You can create accessories like glasses or hats or um, clothes for your mold. Uh, a good one is make your mold look like you, right? So make it resemble you, give it some hair, give it your, your favorite shoes, like whatever you wanna do, make it cutesy. Here's some from the past that um, my students have made. And you can tell that some of them have really put in a lot of effort and work in this. They've given it accessories, they've made it unique. Go ahead and give this a try, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.